Hi, my name is Blake. I'm with Boulevard Home Service and Repair Department, and today we're here to talk about reasons your refrigerator is not cooling as well as it should be cooling. There are some basic things about refrigerators that you can check and things you can't check, and we'll cover all these. So reason number one, your refrigerator is not cooling is computers are the main driving force behind most appliances nowadays. The older appliances were electromechanical, the new ones are all run by computer. So if your refrigerator is not cooling or not cooling well or not working quite right, just like your phone or your computer where you're going along and it's working just fine, all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. You, you power it off, you power it back on and it then at that point it works just fine. Well, the same with refrigerators. Sometimes we'll get power bumps that will throw the computer off or something happened it just didn't like. One of the very first things you wanna do if the refrigerator is not cooling or you're concerned about it cooling is pull the refrigerator out, unplug the refrigerator, let it sit for five minutes, plug them back in, and then see if your refrigerator is working properly because sometimes just rebooting a computer uh, will solve your problem for you. The second thing uh, with refrigerators that you can check is your condenser coils. Now every refrigerator has condenser coils. Refrigeration is kind of a misnomer thinking that refrigeration makes things cold. It does, but in actuality it removes heat. It transfers heat from the inside of the refrigerator and moves that heat down to the condenser coils. So if those coils get dusty or dirty or the vent holes that lead the air into the back of the unit in and out get clogged with dust and dirt, it doesn't cool as efficiently so it doesn't work as well as it should. So that will slow your cooling way down. It generally won't make it stop, but it definitely has an effect on how well it does cool and how fast it does cool the unit down. Number three, we have airflow within a refrigerator. Now on this refrigerator here, we've got several different places the air comes through those little slots and little slits. Now, if the refrigerator is packed too full or something is blocking the airflow, that is going to affect how well that cools. What we do recommend is you don't push things all the way back to the very back and cover up those vent holes. You leave them forward just a little bit where the shelf stops so it's not blocking that air from flowing in there because what will happen is those items will freeze that where the airflow is coming in and the stuff that's out here around on the outside, uh, it does not cool very well at all and it gets fairly warm fairly quickly. Number four, as far as what you can check on this, is you have different fans with in the unit you have what's called a condenser fan and that's the fan that's in the very back by the compressor and by your condenser coils now that is what moves your air through the condenser and also cools down your compressor and that's and that's to help the refrigeration process and then you also have fans inside the unit itself and they are called evaporator fans now depending on if it's a dual evaporator or a single evaporator you're gonna have either one or two fans in, possibly in your refrigerator. If it's a single evaporator, your fan is in the freezer compartment and it blows the air up into the refrigerator compartment and pulls it back down into the freezer compartments where your airflow moves. If it's a dual evaporator, you have a fan up in here and you have a fan down in here. Now, each one of these fans are gonna, they're designed just to move air within their own compartment in a dual evaporator. If you don't hear those fans running, that section may not cool. So make sure that you close your light switches on these when you have a door open, listen for your fans to make sure your fans are running to see if that is possibly the cause of the problem. At the very back, you could pull it out and listen for the fan running in the back and see if you're getting airflow in the back. Number five, as far as reasons your refrigerator is not cooling, at this point it could be a refrigeration issue. Something in the refrigeration circuit is not working. It could be something from the compressor not running or it could be a leak in the system or it could be something that one of the evaporators, and that's what makes the each section cool, and it could be in the freezer compartment, the evaporator is frozen up. At that point, there's not much the homeowner could do to identify what the problem is, so at that point, I would recommend that you would call uh, an authorized servicer or somebody that is trained in refrigeration, have them come out and take a look and see what, what's actually going wrong with your unit. If you have any comments on any of this, uh, please leave us comments in the comment section. Uh, we will respond to your comments and, and uh, give you any feedback that we can help you out with this. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you'd like to get more of these videos that we'll be producing along the way so we can help you out with other appliances.